History. Breakfast cereals throughout history have changed and evolved according to the taste of the times. This is Choco Crispy, which is very much like Rice Krispies, but with chocolate. Here in Japan, we've got our own kinds of cereals, but some of them are the same, like Corn Frosty, which is pretty much Frosted Flakes. They're great though. And, of course, with Japan, flavors evolve to suit Japanese tastes. Like this Kellogg's Hershey's collaboration called Matcha White Chocolito. Oh, look at that matcha goodness oozing out of that crispy chocolate cookie. Is this a breakfast cereal? I don't know. Looks pretty good. But wait, there's more. This one, made by a non Kellogg's brand, Calbi. Matcha Azuki flavors. Look at that. My biggest question mark is, will this make matcha milk? Which would be pretty much a good side product. You can see the matcha powder there and the azuki beans. It's gotta be good. Grab your spoons because we're about to have some breakfast. That's right. This time we're inside the house. Usually I like to do these outdoors, but because of the situation and the fact that I kind of just woke up, I thought we could have breakfast together. This is the Only Japan Go channel. Everything is a live stream, which makes it even more exciting. You are here with me. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one uh, because, I don't know, just they're throwing in azuki beans. These are flavors that we just don't have in Japan. If you look on the other side here, I put it on the big screen TV. Kanai is supporting on the corner there. I don't know if you could see her. She's right there in the corner. Iwamiyamasu. So the, on the break screen TV, this is the cereal aisle in my local supermarket. It's kind of basic, right? I think in America, the supermarket aisle is ridiculous. I'm gonna zoom in here. You can take a look at some of the stuff here. Some uh, granola bars. Everything is in a, in a bag. It's not in, there's some up there. there. It's in a bag, it's not in a box, which was also quite unusual for me. The prices are a little bit expensive. There's that matcha um, Hershey's right there. That's about $5 for one bag. And there's 280 grams in there, so it's, it's okay. Um, that's what it looks like here from a distance. That's it, that's the cereal aisle. And not even all of that is cereal. It's pretty small. Now in comparison, this here that you see in your screen, this is the curry, packaged curry aisle. So all of this is packaged curry that you just throw on rice. It's way bigger than the cereal. In fact, the cereal was upstairs. It's not even a big part. Here's the instant ramen aisle. Now this is a lot smaller than most other Japanese supermarkets, but you can see there's so many varieties of ramen, instant ramen here. It makes you think that the ramen aisle is sort of what the cereal aisle is in the United States. It's pretty interesting. That's all I got. And now it's time to do the experiment. I'm so excited about this breakfast cereal live stream because um, I'm a little bit hungry and I, I like, I, all right, in Japan, we just do not eat breakfast cereals. We don't do it. It's uh, a Japanese breakfast is what can I like tamagoyaki, rice, Natto, nani taberu? Shake. Shake. Salmon. Yeah, like a salmon uh, bits on rice. It's pretty basic. I mean, but it's not what you would think. We don't like sweet foods in the morning. But in America, we love them. We love our sweet foods. What was it? Like a cinnamon toast crunch, Captain Crunch. A lot of crunch. We need crunch in the morning. So we've got a bowl here. Let's go ahead and try this. Um, we're going to start off with, there's our ceiling. We're gonna start off with a bowl of, I don't know. Let's go with this, Hershey chocolate bits. Um, I'm gonna be using, I have here, what I always use is the Jersey milk. Jersey cows have, uh, they're the brown cows. They got a pretty good taste to the milk. Um, but we're gonna go with the good old fashioned because this is the one, this is the Meiji milk the Meiji Oishi milk, and this is the one that you'll find just about everywhere. They kind of use this brand the most. Yeah, let me get this down here. So let's rip this open and start the investigation.
Ooh. Wait a minute. These look like... Where's the matcha? What's inside? Matcha's inside. I know that. Let's see here. Oh, oh. Oh, it's not... So maybe the... Oh, what I'm thinking is that the... The milk activates the matcha and turns it into mush. All right, that's good. That's a good sign. So cereals have to be dry, I think. Is it healthy? Um, uh, all right, we don't need to pour it in then all in there. I don't. Th I think this would only be about two two bowls of this size. You got it. Japanese typically will eat smaller portions. We'll will eat smaller portions, but this looks. This looks okay. Let's just try this in, in Kanai's beautiful bowls. Yeah. You happy I'm using your bowls? Yeah, it's from US. Yeah, it's from America. <laughs> from my favorite shop. Yeah, you know what? You can't find gallons of milk in Japan. They, they, they sell them in one liters, and one liter is the largest. It's low fat milk. It's low fat, is it? Oh. That's strange. I like the I like the uh, four percent milk. Ooh, grab your spoon. This is Hershey's Hershey's matcha choco bits with white. This is matcha white chocolate. I don't know. The matcha looks like it's oozing. Chango, thank you so much. Uh, it, it looks like it's oozing out. Choc cocoa. Uh, crunchy. That's what it's called. Cocoa Crunch and Matcha White Chocolates. Oh, this does... Get it. I guess you gotta mix it around. Mix it around there. Okay. Alright. Sometimes you have to let it settle. I haven't eaten breakfast in ages, like, like cereal. This is what I do when I get back home. I go into the cereal aisle and then I'll grab like... Um, a few boxes. I never can finish it in time, but you have to try. Uh, it's like the nostalgia of, of being a kid again when you pick up a bowl of cereal. Um, makes you feel like a kid. All right, let's give this a try here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, 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 I need I need another bite to just to get a good grab gri grab on this. Mmm. It's crunchy. <laughs> yeah. It's crunchy. You want to try? Yeah. All right. It's crunchy. Um. If you if you like matcha, you're gonna love this. Can I just say that? If you like matcha, you'll love uh, Hershey's Chuckle Bits with matcha white chocolate. The chocolate is sweet, but not overpowering. Overpower. It's not too chocolatey. Because if it were, it would completely obliterate the matcha taste. The matcha, it's not sweet at all. You can taste the bitterness of the matcha. It's insane. You could eat this as is, as a snack. It's bitter. The chocolate is not too chocolatey, it's not overpowering sweet, and the matcha is, is bitter, but it's it's got the white chocolate base to it, so it's got that sweet creaminess in the background, but it's still bitter. Nigai? Mm. Kind of nigai. Mm, it's not too much sweet. Mm. It's not too much sweet. I guess I can, you're in it now. It's yeah. not too sweet. Yeah, I like I like it. But it's not for breakfast. It's not for breakfast. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. In Japan, people just don't eat breakfast cereals. We do. It's like mind blowing when they go to America. People are like, why have they got so many cereals? They like, well, people like breakfast cereals, obviously. All right. It's a snack. It's a snack. That is so not a for snack. Me. That's that's breakfast, in like even all fifty three? states, including territories. I'm not sure about uh, Puerto Rico and Guam. Probably, maybe. Mm. I would hope so. All Americans eat breakfast cereal. 
at least once in their life, even the ones who don't want to admit it. Now these, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that you know what these are. Now Kellogg's is a well-known brand in the United States. Post is another one, but I don't see them represented here. Um, Frosted Flakes, and you can find Honey Nut Cheerios at Costco. Like the Costco has a lot of uh, uh, of the of the box cereals and in massive packages. But this is a recent phenomenon. Before 20 years ago, when I came to Japan, it was limited to, to Japanese varieties of usually oat-based cereals, and they were not the same at all. They were really bad processed reproductions, like re recreation attempts of American cereal. Just there's no market. For for it because Japanese mothers uh, and some fathers will not be cooking breakfast in American way, except from people who return from abroad. So when I was living when I, in 20 years ago uh, in a t city called Okazaki, which is not far from Toyota, a lot of the kids had lived in the United States, returned to Japan, and they were hooked on cereal. So the company in Toyota, um, the, which is a city, they don't pay any local taxes, by the way. The company pays for the local taxes. They, uh, the shops there would carry this because this is something that was requested by mothers and fathers because the kids returned from America and they were hooked on it. Hooked on, on corn frosty. This is called corn frosty. And you get 10% more, uh, thankfully. But um, it's not as, I, I believe it's not as sweet. Maybe we'll open this up and try it out because I love frosted flakes with bananas. Next up here is this. This is matcha azuki, uh, made by Calbi, which is they make um, potato chips. They're very famous for potato chips, but I guess people in the potato chips business, it's easy to get into the cereal business. This looks so good, and in the, it's it's unusual to see on the package matcha powder and azuki beans. Usually, you're seeing chocolate or something, but. Uh, not, not, not here. In Japan, we have, I don't know. And it has in here like grapes. I, who, grapes is not something I really associate with cereal. On the back, it has strawberries. So basically, Calbee's cereal fame, and there's a lot of, lot of uh, vitamins, so it's enriched, like American cereals. And of course, there's, there's this is actually pretty healthy looking. Calbee's claim to fame here is um, granola. They make a lot of granola products. And the reason these are in bags is because probably it's based on European style of cereal. I don't, I don't remember when I went to Europe if they had them in bags or in boxes. Americans have them as cereals in boxes and then bags inside. But maybe it's just eco-friendly eco not to have that in, um, in boxes. By the way, the Rice Krispie Kids Nobody knows Rice Krispies in Japan. Rice Krispies, Steru. Mm. Oh, she knows it. Sorry, I mean it's been debunked. Uh, but it's it's not Rice Krispies is not very popular. But they do have Choco Krispie. I I never see Rice Krispies. Naiyo, mit 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 in the Japanese supermarkets. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's give this a try here. Let Let's open this up now. <laughs> I love I love eating. Uh, uh, in front of the camera, because it's, it's interesting. It's I'm curious to see how this how this uh, tastes. All right, let's, let's give the camera here. I'm gonna put it in the front and open it up and tell you what it looks like inside. Oh, well, there you go. So it does look like granola inside there. It's green. It's green. Do you see that? That's why well, I'm, I'm still shocked. It looks herbal, almost healthy. I guess it's a, you know, look, I guess it is healthy. No, I got this at Don Quixote. The box it was about um, a little bit over five dollars for this. It does look good. Breakfast should be good. It's the most important meal of the day. It is. It's true. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do the camera this way here. Let's put it in the bowl. I, I hope you're as excited as I am. I'm using a, a clear bowl. What's it doing there? Clear bowl because um, I want to see if this makes matcha milk. And if it does make matcha milk, this is a game changer. A game changer. Oh! 
Oh my. Oh my, this is, I gotta dig in this for a second, hold on. Is that a piece, that's a piece of straw, hey, come back here. It's a piece of strawberry, like freeze dried strawberry. That's awesome. Look at this, you got chunks in here. I bet you you can use this in baking or cooking or something. Let's see, All right, let's give this a try um, just on its own. What do you think this tastes like? Has, I guess that looks like, no, those aren't raisins. That's azuki beans. Do you know the red bean paste that's very famous in Japanese cooking? That's what that is. It's red bean paste. And not the paste. They mash up the azuki beans so it becomes a paste. And they use that in a lot of confections like donuts, ampan. You know, that's what this is. It's just the bean. So right now, it's been freeze dried. It's a, wow, that's sweet. It's got a natural sweetness to it. Azuki bean is wonderful. Not a lot of Westerners like azuki beans, but let me see here if I can get this um, to focus. Not a lot of uh, foreigners like the azuki bean, but the azuki bean looks like a bean of coffee. Is uh, naturally sweet. It's got a lot of sugars in there. This one's been freeze dried. So when you chew on it, it activates the sugars. It's naturally sweet. Hmm. All right, I, I shouldn't have done that. I've ruined it now. All right, we got, this is a milk test now. Milk test. Are you ready? Does it make matcha milk? Got some floaters. All right. Wow. Okay, this looks good. All right, I don't see matcha milk being made yet. It could be just a case where it takes some time, but the grains are starting to get a little bit. Let's, let's try a bite before it gets uh, soggy. You wanna try this one? Here we go. For science. Mmm. Coconut. It's got coconut. I can't really taste the matcha. I have to be honest with you. Hard to taste the matcha compared to the white chocolate bits by Hershey. Okay, there it is. Mmm. Interesting. Granola taste, of course, you can. You, you, we can taste that. But what is really curious about this is there's flavors in it here that I've never tasted in cereal ever before. Um, not like not like this, anyways. Maybe I have before. Hey, Tony P's in the house. Not like this before, but you see on the on the package here on the back, they have azuki beans, kind of unusual. Strawberries. Yeah, you see it, but usually artificial. But these are real bits of strawberries. They have grapes, freeze dried grapes in there. Oats, rye, um, all sorts of wheat. There's corn, uh, almond powder, and coconut. And I can really taste the coconut is pretty strong with this. Corn. That's right. And all corn comes from the United States, by the way. Almost all the... There, there's no d domestic corn, like, sold in, pro in pro um, processed products. This is uh, yeah, corn from the uh, United States. Mm. Almond powder. This is 700 grams. Cost me about, six, I think it was $6 from Don Quixote. It was on sale uh, in a booth and I said, this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Is it better? You know what? I'm gonna have to give 
give the the nod to to the um, Hershey's white matcha white chocolate matcha flavored chips. Mmm. Which should not be for breakfast. It's way way too chocolate and rich sweet for kids for breakfast. This is probably a better breakfast item, like responsible breakfast item. Mmm. Matcha overtones, but it's not an overpowering matcha. So I guess if you like really want the matcha taste, just put some more powder on there and you'll have some matcha milk. The good thing is, it has made matcha milk. Do you see this? This is brilliant. It's green. The matcha milk. What do you think? Look at that. You got matcha milk. Mmm. There's a bit of strawberry in there. It does it does do pretty well. Um, standing up. The crunchiness after a couple of minutes is pretty good. Now, can I's, not, can I's turn to test it out? Is it great? Mm. Mm. I can feel matcha well. You feel it? More I was feeling it. Hershey's? More than the Hershey's. Mm. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know. I think, take, all right, take a bite of this again. Try this one again. I think... I think you're wrong. I don't know. I don't think so because it's chocolate. Hershey's. Do you ever eat mm. breakfast? Do you ever eat cereal for breakfast? It's chocolate. Yeah. You eat cereal for breakfast? Yeah, yeah. When? When I live in New York. Oh yeah, I know that. But like, <laughs> in Japan. I tried, but I um, I don't want to eat sweet. Breakfast in morning. Oh yeah. So I don't eat a lot. But you put honey in your oatmeal. Yeah. That's sweet. Mm, it's different for me. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's different, and that's right. Kanai is never wrong. She's never mm. wrong. So <laughs> the answer is, I I think it's pretty cool though. Like, if you are coming to visit Japan, uh, in better better times, or now. Uh, they have like really unique cereals and if you're like me somebody who grew up eating cereals this like the bizarreness of these flavors is pretty cool to take back home as gifts I think I think like if and they're a little bit heavy this is almost a kilogram this is 700 grams 300 grams short of a kilogram which is pretty heavy um, this is a smaller bag it's good for like two and a half American sized bowls probably like 10 Japanese sized bowls they probably eat it in little rice bowls we eat, I eat it in like massive bowls. For, for, for me, the chocolate goodness with the sweet matcha, the matcha mixed in with the white chocolate is awesome, all right? It's a little expensive. This was almost the same price as this for half the amount. So I'm gonna have to say um, cost performance. This is probably healthier and better, but if you really want matcha taste, yeah, you're better off um, with uh, just put matcha in a bowl and eat that. How about that? That's real matcha milk. All right, I'm I, I'm just curious about this. I want to see is this as sweet as uh, Frosted Flakes in the United States? This is just pure science. In order to experiment, my hypothesis is that it's not as sweet as American Frosted Flakes. This is called Corn Frosty, and it Itsu Greto is. He, does he say it Itsu Greto? I know Tony the Tiger is very famous for saying it's great, and he does not say that on here. Uh, if you are if you are curious about this, they do have an Instagram for Japan's Kellogg's, and maybe you can get more information. Just a little shout out to them. Watching Second Time Live from Deck O Y Seven Seven. I'll be uploading that video 
not too long from now. So that that's a video from Hokkaido. I, I ran around, uh, thanks for asking about that. I ran around in a fundoshi in minus like 10 degree weather in Hokkaido uh, last month and uh, I'm editing that. It's pretty crazy out there. Um, hey, uh, Katayama's here. Curse you, you're making me hungry. I just ate an hour ago. Sorry. I just ate, I, can I made oatmeal too? Um, but for breakfast, but I decided that I have to eat more because I, I think this is really interesting. Uh, Jane, Jane uh, Shimamura writes, and John, thanks so much for all the commentary about the current state of this difficult situation. I'm wishing you, Kanai, all the best. Best wishes, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you so much. Um, I've been giving updates on this. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, it's, it's hard to find, let, let me turn this around here. I, I, I can pour the cereal in the bowl while, t while I'm talking, multitasking. It's hard to find um, topics that are just positive, right? And food brings people together. And I always thought that, um, you know, I can't do just updates every day. So I have to find things that is interesting. And you know what? Breakfast cereal and my, I have to cut my fingernails is very, very interesting. Very interesting. Look at that. All right, let's try this here. But I will, I will give another update. Um, I believe, um, uh, Prime Minister Abe is going to be doing another speech, and that means I, I have something to report, but I'm not going to... Uh, nothing is really has changed too much. Um, let's just try it straight, without the milk. Uh, this will probably affect my judgment a little bit. Oh. Breaking news! The kind, that, the kind that doesn't stink. Frosted... <laughs> Frosted flakes! is as sweet as America. Kids everywhere, put your hands in the air and go, yay! We have a sugar rush. Sugar rush achieved. Thank you. This is awesome. Now, let's get into it and pour the milk into the cereal because we must have sugar. Let there be sugar. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful sight. Yes, Tony the Tiger, be proud. Even in Japan, you make people run around. You make kids everywhere run around and, and do hyperactive things. Thank you. I can say that because we don't have any kids. All right, let's try this here. We're gonna get a little bit crazy too because I'm gonna try to mix this in with some of the other cereals because an experiment is an experiment. You can't just eat it straight. Oh no, I, any of you people out there were also crazy like me, like when you had a drink, drink fountain as a kid, who else was doing like mixing all the drinks together and seeing like two parts Coke, three parts Mountain Dew, one part Fanta, orange, and then you came up with original flavors. Anybody else do that? Because I did that all the time. I did that all the time. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh yeah. This. Is the same favorite? <laughs> Expats rejoice. If you come to Japan and get frosty corn frosty, it is frosted flakes. Recipe confirmed to be the same. Hallelujah. I'm so happy. Mm. If you're, you know, when you live in another country as an expat, you, you do get a little bit homesick and you need that soul food perhaps this could be something similar to that i guess possibly it's really good um it's getting soggy fast which is fine because it's still sweet now let's mix <laughs> like an evil scientist mix matcha azuki bean granola in with the frosted flakes tony the tiger does battle with matcha azuki bean Mind blown. Let's do this because it's it's all we can do to stay focused on fun things in Japan during a difficult time because we are getting slightly crazy. Somebody wrote in that ever since I came from Hokkaido, I've been slightly insane. I concur. It's okay. Dun, 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 dun,
Dun, dun, dun. Whoa, that's awesome. This is so awesome. This is my laboratory, and you are my watching from behind the glass. <laughs> Protective glass. You guys are watching from the other side. Oh, look at this. Just mix it in there. Yeah, that's the way you do it. That's right. A little bit on top there. Get, get it inside of the milk. Depth perception way off. Sometimes the spoon is going in the wrong direction. It's hard to control the spoon looking through a video screen. All right. This is good. This is good. All right. If you were to eat it, this is what you get. This looks really good. Wait a second. Experiment. Success. Oh. All right. Kuna, are you going to try my experiment? Yes, yeah, sure. Are you going to do the crazy eyes? You going to do crazy eyes? I don't know. Yeah. If you do the crazy eyes, uh, I'll give you five bucks. Here we go. This is mixed matcha, Calbi with frosted flakes. Do they battle and destroy one another, or do they come together as friends? Only time will tell in like five seconds. What? Not, this is no joke. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Please. Feel the rush. Good? Good. What's not to like? Matcha? Good. Frosted flakes? Good. Azuki bean? Good. Turn that frown upside down. Yeah, it's good. The fact that she's not giving me the bowl back might be all that you need to know. Okay, now she's giving me the bowl back. Kids gonna like it. Kids going to like it. Thanks a lot for demonetizing. <laughs> <laughs> ah! All right. The final um, answer. You know what? They probably should stay apart. Let's be honest. Um, you know, they, they were they were separated by bags, so they probably should not mix. However, that should never stop you from taking the next step, which is to just get completely crazy with your breakfast cereals. The best thing you can do to make kids eat the leftovers and the cereals that they didn't like is to mix them all together and say, "Look, I wouldn't eat this." And if you and if you do say that, they probably will. So <laughs> just do the opposite and it works. I'm not saying this as an experienced parent myself, but if I were psychologically as a man with a mental uh, understanding of people a tenth of my age, that would work on me, work on me. All right, <laughs> if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you do like these uh, experimental food episodes because I, I think that this is a series. I got a feeling that deep down inside, I wanna mix more foods and just make it insane, all right? Like next level, like what did you just do kind of things. So perhaps if you like this, you're encouraging me to do more of that. Yes. Um, if you wanna see more breakfast cereals, I will be putting um, on our Instagram, which is my Instagram right there. And if you go here, you will be able to see more breakfast cereals because I'm gonna go back to the supermarket and just take pictures of breakfast cereals because I just did a breakfast cereal episode. It's what you do. It's insane, right? It's crazy, right? Whenever you get the, the crazy eyes, it's good. Um, I wanna say thank you to everybody who's been supporting on Patreon because we had a massive amount of people, um, like, 25 new signups. This is the postcard for this month and I'm do and I'm putting on here. I'm a stamp geek. I'm putting on the Tokyo 2020 torch relay stamp. Ooh. You'll get one of these stamps and they're really cool. I have a about 20 of them left. This is for the stamp relay and um, you see the torch there on the left side of the stamp? That's going to be on your postcard. 
It's pretty cool. They're limited edition. They're only making a certain amount. And I, I got a friend at the post office. We all do. And uh, I love the postal workers here in Japan. And I said, hook me up with uh, 300 stamps. And that's what I got. And you know what? Like using the psychology, don't, don't buy one. I want to keep all the stamps for myself. Just seeing if that works. Probably not. And just buy one, buy one. Yes, thank you. This is our Discord server. Um, the vanity link works if we have 30 boosters. Um, we had 29 and it didn't work. It works now. We have 31 boosters. If you're a Nitro booster, we love your boost. And I give uh, that postcard to Nitro boosters once a month. I, I'll pick um, two boosters and send them something. So um, we're talking about travel to Japan. Um, there's Japanese lessons, there's uh, pictures of Sakura cherry blossoms, and uh, we're doing crazy stuff on Discord. It's cool, because you can talk about it. And we have a really good community of people. We have about 7,500 now in the Discord server. Um, there's always a thousand people chatting in there talking about Japan, and we have some really dedicated moderators doing an amazing job. Thank you, moderators, for all that you do to keep it uh, um, clean, unlike this bowl. The reason why I wanted to let this go until 30 minutes was just to see if the matcha milk was real. Um, if we get the 500 likes, I will drink this right now. Like, almost all of it. I'll just chug it. If you came to 500 likes in one minute, I will chug this. Whoa, we got like postcard club signups. Who is that? Ben. Hey, thanks, Ben. I just saw that. I, I missed the other one. Was that, I think it was a, a Marty. I'm not sure. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I see the notifications coming here. If we get the 500 likes, I will chug this and I will I will finish the experiment that we started together. Um, this is matcha, um, for those joining us, this is matcha azuki bean cereal. And it was, it was pretty good, it was pretty good. Um, but my, my main goal is to see if matcha milk has been achieved. Matcha milk is a much prized drink in Japan. Uh, matcha coffee, matcha latte, matcha is healthy. But is it good from cereal? That's what I'm waiting for. Uh, we're still we're, we're still a little short there. We're 10, 10 likes short. Likes, it's all about likes right now. You and the community can encourage me. All right, did it. Here we go, chug. You can't chug. You can't chug, it's ch chunky. You can't chug and chew. That is so good. Now, matcha milk has been achieved. And the azuki beans in there have, be have come hydrated. And when you bite, in, you get this burst of sweetness, natural sweetness on the side of your tongue. And that bitterness of the matcha milk is so good. And it's like a sweet matcha milk. So it's palatable to, um, to Americans because we, even people that I know that come and visit, they say they gotta put honey in their matcha, which is insane to us. But I understand, it's, it's palatable, it's sweet. It is an explosion of umami. So, uh, Sudaru, thank you, yes. Well said, an explosion of umami. It's a good word. Thanks, everybody. Um, I do appreciate uh, the support <laughs> and the craziness. I don't know. This is live. This is what I do on the Only Japan Go channel. Um, yeah, we'll have some more updates on other things. We're thinking of going tomorrow to eat, uh, to not just eat, but to rent a car. So we'll do another live streaming. Uh, hey, Diego, thank you. Just saw the notification from Diego. Very cool. Um, appreciate. I really appreciate that. The postcards are going to go out today. If you go on Instagram, I will put um, your postcard in the mailbox, and you'll see it go in to the mailbox. I think if I was going to be in the postcard club and join like this, I want to see where it's leaving from. You're going to see that um, on Instagram. So I'll put it in a stories, Instagram stories, if you're uh, interested in seeing where your postcard's going from. Yeah. You know. And I will announce your name too, so you know it's your postcard. It's good. Um, yeah, thanks. We're, we're gonna be doing some crazy stuff tomorrow. Driving, we did a really good driving live stream when we went to uh, Fush, uh, Fuji, uh, Fuji Yoshida, which is near Mount Fuji. What a beautiful location that was. We had a perfect view of Mount Fuji. Um, we're heading up to go see a friend of mine, um, Jaya, 
who does uh, a channel called uh, Tokyo Llama, and he's renovating a, an abandoned house. So maybe I'll take him a bowl. I'll take him some cereal. <laughs> I'll take him some. Bowl. Can we bring this to Jaya? Yeah. Jaya, you want this? I don't know if he's watching. Jaya, we're coming with cereal. Oh uh, yeah, so maybe they'll, like it. maybe they'll like it. But I'm keeping this, Jaya. I'm not gonna share this. This one's too good. I don't. I'll probably will be gone in the car. We're gonna we're gonna do a live stream from the car. I set it up where um, we can be streaming and we can talk and you be able to see outside the front window. And we're gonna be driving up north towards Fukushima, and you can join us for that. It's it's kind of cool to be able to do to go onto the highway and then you can join us. I think we're gonna go to the rest stop if we can. Uh, into the service area and and take a look in there. I, it's it's interesting. Japanese service areas um, are definitely they're different. It, they're, they're places that you want to stop, like really not just because you have to use the restroom, but beyond that, they're really really cool. And um, we'll probably stop off and uh, uh, do a couple of live streams. the The main reason is that we just can't right now at this time a little bit of an update. We just can't really go out and travel much. Public transportation we've avoided that for almost three weeks now. Um, we've been riding bicycles. Was it two weeks? No, it's about three weeks now. We've been riding bicycles, and the stronger that my legs get, I can I can go with the flow of traffic and get from from one side of the city to the other side in like forty minutes, which is pretty good. Get to Tokyo Station in ten minutes um, by bicycle, and that um, means that I don't have to wear a mask. Um, hey, Eric, thank you. See, Eric just signed up for Postcard Club, so uh, we're gonna be wearing. Um, we're going to be uh, doing that drive tomorrow on Thursday and probably on Friday we're going to do a cherry blossom walk because the blossoms uh, were budding yesterday if you look at that live stream. So the quality wasn't so good in Wayne Park, uh, the signal. But the trees are just budding and they are so close to breaking out. Are the cherry blossoms, do you think? Do cherry cherry blossom mo saiteru? Mara. Um, not 100%. Yeah, not 100%. Uh, bloomed yeah <laughs> but we can we can find many blossoms yeah we can find many blossoms uh but they're not it's just budding but i think by friday because behind this window is is sunshine it's pretty warm here in japan so i think we're gonna have a really good friday and i don't know if i'm gonna do it as a strobe which is i i upload this later because i want to get i want you to see this in hd or 4k i think that'd be better but if we can do a live stream, it'll be in the morning and then maybe I'll do a strobe at night from another location because it's pretty cool. And on the weekend, we'll take you to another location or if kind I can't go, I'll take you to see some more cherry blossoms because I think when you see the cherry blossoms, it kind of gives you a little bit of hope because this time is tough for everybody. And if you're at home in the United States or in Europe um, or just about anywhere right now, it, there's a lot of unknown and the one thing about Japan is that we haven't, we feel like we, maybe things are going to be okay if we keep social distancing, we can go outside and, and spring is a, is a sign of hope that maybe, you know, things will get better in April. Um, and that's my, that's what the cherry blossoms bring to me. Like there's, there's a, something good is happening basically. And it's the cherry blossoms are blooming here in Japan. And if you couldn't, you had to cancel your trip, I'm taking you with me because I understand that you wanted to be there too. And when we're live, it feels like we are there. Like, I feel like you're there. Tasty Chronicles, I'm like, you're here right now. That's how I feel. Um, it, I wish it, the quality was better because it's a live stream, but um, I can only control so much. Like, I can't control the color of the milk anymore. Uh, Nathan, thank you, Nathan. Wow, this is cool. Like, uh, people are setting up right now. That's awesome. David wants more strawberries. Um, I don't know, Julian. I don't know. I don't know about the Olympics. Um, it, it's something that they're talking about, but uh, it's just too far in advance to really tell. I think it's it's four months away. Uh, March, March, April, May, June, July. Right, the end of July. So it's so far away that I don't think that we can make a decision. It would be irresponsible to make a decision actually, because I know that uh, qualifiers. Uh, some countries have suspended or canceled it, but um, they'll be rescheduled. It'll go pretty quickly, but I don't see the situation in Japan being so bad and if we, so bad that it doesn't turn the corner within five months, all right? So I, I'm getting the feeling that if it's still bad at a certain point, let the IOC and the people who are invested in this make that determination. 
but if we have to change the dates, then I, you, we have to do what we have to do for the public safety. And if it's an issue, then we're going to consider that here in Japan. I know that Prime Minister Abe uh, and Mayor Koike, who is the mayor of Tokyo, um, is very committed to making sure that this goes on. Uh, it's just not the same if it goes on to 2021 and delaying it is it's comp it's really really complicated for the city because they're also doing so many other things i think that i'd rather see city officials dealing with this issue at on the on hand that we have right now and not dealing with um every with something that's five months away deal with the now all right and i know that everyone's bringing this up i want to see tokyo deal with this now like deal with what we have the situation and then I want to see the city deal with this maybe in a couple of months down the road. Just we're focused on something um, that's that's in the future that we shouldn't be. Uh, I think it's too far away. I, I don't want it to be canceled, of course. I love I love this city and uh, I'm a big part of it. I want to be a bigger part of it. And that's what this, this Go channel is all about. Hey, John. Thank, thank you, John. That's really nice. Any questions before I leave? I'll take one question. I like doing that too. I take one question. Just got in. What did I miss? <laughs> you missed an insanity. What? Hey, Florence, thank you. Florence, I'm going to be going to the, uh, I'll go to the shrine a little bit later, Florence. Uh, actually, if I go there to see the cherry blossoms, I'll take you with me and then we can do uh, an Emma for you. That'd be really cool. Uh, you're very welcome. And uh, yeah, we're going to go to the supermarket and stock up and we're, we're still looking for masks. But we have, thanks to, to Florence and Singapore, we have a, a supply and much, much appreciated, much love. Even though uh, the trip was canceled, we're here for you. We are here. You're, we're, you're, we're connected, Florence. Florence, yeah. Um, when will we get the Daimyo on Patreon again? Uh, I, they're sold out. I just sent too many packages out. And I know that some of the packages that I sent out I haven't arrived yet, and I'm, um, I did send it on the 13th, I believe. So I know that the post is still moving, but there could be some delays, and I'm hesitant to, to open it up to any more. We send already uh, quite, a, quite a lot of packages. Um, so if, if I do open up the Daimyo again, all right, you know what? I'll open up one spot, and whoever gets there first <laughs> gets it, I guess. I'll open up one spot. I can do that because we got a lot more free time because so many things have been canceled. It, it would make me really happy to send off um, some packages to people because uh, just the situation has been, um, it gives us something really positive to do. I, I know when we send this, send the postcards out, we send the packages to people. I know it's it supports the show, but it makes, makes me feel really happy because it connects what I do here with something physical, like a piece of paper and a stamp, um, you know, like it, we're con when you receive this in the mail, we're like connected by it, and that's that's really cool. And this is the stamp for this month. It's it's really cool. It's a limited edition Olympic torch stamp because the torch is on its way to Japan right now. I don't know how they do them in the airplane. I'm really curious. Uh, I hope they they make a video on it, uh, put it on YouTube. Um, is there a supermarket problem in Tokyo? That's oh yeah. This will be the final final question. This is a really good one. Um, so when I went to the supermarket to buy these, I was in there. Um, in an off-peak time, usually when people are not going to the supermarket. Like, Kanai says from, like, after 5 p.m., it's very crowded, right? Around 5. Yeah, around 5 p.m., the supermarkets are very crowded. So I tried to go really late at night before they close, which is when I bought this. <laughs> or I go, um, all right, early in the morning, everybody who's over the age of 75 is there. And it's so slow. No offense, but... It's like, I can't even get around them to get to where I wanna go, and it takes me three times the amount of time. So if you go at this opening, it's just like buses of, of elderly come and, and it's hard to get through. They're very good at shopping too. And actually I use, if I do get stuck there, I talk to them. I can't right now because the social distancing, but I talk to the, old, the uh, older generation and they give me advice on things to, to shop for and brands, which ones are better. So I kinda like that. Um, but yeah, it's don't go in the morning, <laughs> wait until a little bit until the afternoon, like, like 2 PM. Yeah. Yeah. I always go to two or three. Okay. Kanai goes at like two or three, two or three, two or three PM. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and I go late at night, and so anything that she forgot, like bananas, I will go and get that at at uh, like 10 or 11 before it closes. My sister said she found the toilet paper. She found toilet paper! Boop, five. boop, boop. News alert, toilet paper found where? She found around five or six. Five, six because rolls? The, because Did the she buy them all? That's what people are doing. Because drugstore put the toilet paper on five or six because some people can't go to the store. Okay. Yeah, because they are working. So they come to the store after job. So drugstore maybe decided to put some pe toilet paper afternoon. That's smart. Yeah. That's so they're getting they're, they're so we got we have in Japan a face mask team. They're called the mask team. Mm -hmm. It was when the prime minister announced it. I I started smiling. I'm like, that's the coolest name. It's like the A team, except they're for masks. You wanna join the mask I want to join the mask team. You, Where's the you sign should. up? I, I will go around to the town looking at stores and and scolding people who are who are buying them as part of the mask. I will report people. I want to be part of this mask team doing good, not evil, um, and destroying evil. So the mask team is an actual government organized government group inside of the Japanese government that is regulating uh, sick masks and surgical masks. And it's actually a good thing, I think, because there's been some price gouging. A politician in Shizuoka, I like to bring him up because what he did was awful, had made like like tens of thousands of dollars reselling masks. A politician. Um, it was just dis disgraceful. Um, and uh, of course, he's going to get a big fine and probably do some jail time. But now that people are getting fined and up to a year in jail if you resell masks and gouge. Um, so that's, that practice has stopped. And I'm hoping by this week we have some more masks and tissues and alcohol. Toilet paper, we couldn't really understand why, but it's you can find it in Japan now. And stores are not putting it out. They're putting it out in the afternoon now or at non-peak time so people can get it at other times now. And that's smart. They don't put it all out in the morning anymore. Costco, I talked to Costco when I went there. Um, and Costco's got some really good cereals, by the way. They get some stuff from the U.S. that um, other stores don't get. Uh, Costco uh, representative uh, staff member told me that when they opened it up within in less than five minutes, uh, a pallet of surgical masks was sold out as people had take take the limit. I think they limited it to, to two boxes. They should limit it just to one box, I think. But there's no reason why you need to take more than a, take up two boxes of a hundred masks. Um, a family of five could that that's enough for like three weeks. So. Um, I don't know. We don't. We got enough. Thanks to Florence, uh, sent us some, uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be okay. We don't ride and and go into any crowded places. In fact, I'm telling my friends to buzz off. Um, I think uh, Peter wanted to, to to meet up, and I'm like, dude, no, and that's it's heartbreaking. My friend uh, Andrew wanted to do a Hanami party, and I said, no, I think it's just not a good thing. Like, I'll go with Kanai because if she gets it, then I'm we're we're both screwed. <laughs> right? If someone in your family gets it, you just, just, you might as well just kiss them and then say, let's get this over with. Because seriously, it's like, it's really, it's a tough time. Um, stay safe, everybody. I just wanted to bring you something that we didn't discuss this, but the questions just always seem to go back to it because of the times. Um, Japanese cereals are pretty cool. If you do come to visit, maybe, just maybe, taking a bag of corn, corn frosty, will make people really happy. And if you find it at Don Quixote, matcha azuki bean granola, because, because you can, and that's all you need to know. See everybody, have a good day, have a good night. Did I do this for 54 minutes? That's insane. Was this one hour? See you. <laughs> all right, bye guys.